And so we are ready for our first super fight of the evening. We have a ladies professional K1 rules match scheduled for three three minute rounds. Firstly, fighting out of the black corner from Portugal, Ines Zambujo. Our first big super fight of the evening is K1 rules over three three-minute rounds of professional action and in the black corner from Portugal Inez Zambujo and her opponent from the Assassin's Gym Janie the One Iska and Dale I've seen Janie fight and she is such a superb technician but very strong with her technique and was in devastating form at Midland Mayhem earlier in the year with, with a very fast knockout yeah, look at the, uh, look at the, the Portuguese girl she's had oh, over and lovely over and right, and another fast start by Jane. Well, that's what she did last time. She really likes to bully her opponent into submission. She forces forward with strong technique, and already the eye watering, the right eye of Inez is already watering here from the attack from Janie, and she will not stop Dale. She's a machine like this. Very aggressive start to round one. I was going to say the, the experience that the Portuguese girls got uh, you know, far exceeds James, but um, you wouldn't have thought it, looking at this. Well, the thing is, as we said before, Janie has also fought four ringmasters and Muay Thai, and this is what she does so brilliantly. She is full of evil intent when she throws those punches, but she has had experience Muay Thai as well. It's just in the K1 arena right. when she's come back and she had the full fight. She is an experienced campaigner as well. But you wonder how much more this Ines can take because Janie will not give in like this. She, she's relentless and so hurtful with her technique now. Uh, the, the Portuguese girl does look shell shot and uh, it does a nice teak to the face though. There. Yes, she caught Janie on the way in. I don't think it's going to make much difference if I'm honest. And again, Janie making sure there's no escape there. Head in rocking back of the Portuguese girl. And Inez is looking to try and fire back after that eight catch. She's really trying to regroup. But when Janie gets a head of steam up, she's relentless. And there's the right again, up and down. Hard and hurtful. And remember, it's three-minute rounds as well, well, Dale. In the professional ranks, so, so important when you're on a, a roll here. Just being warned about the placement of the back fist and the timing of it. It's got to be the actual glove. That team's working for Inez if she can regroup. 
Yeah, I think she's a bit shell shocked. She's come over over here first round, first couple of seconds, and uh, she's getting an eight count. And again, looks to come forward, but perfect timing. The counter to the knee, the teep from Janie, perfectly timed. So the corner chamfer to go downstairs now. That's right, the low kicks then bring the punches up over the top. The right hand was the danger. And again, chops low. Inez has done well to recover, though. I didn't think she'd still be here at this point after that early eight count. No, no. I mean, she's only taken a few, few low kicks out of the lead, but it's ready up already. Nice right hand from Inez, beginning to work away towards the end of this round, but another chopping low kick oh, and a cheap kick the face. from Janie. Heavy body kick. Strong finish. Round's about out now. It's a strong finish from Jane. And again, right on the bell, the back fist. Torrid time for the Portuguese fighter Inez Zambujo. <laughs> Round two of three. What has Inez Zambujo got to offer in reply? to Janie Iska. Well, information the corner team have passed on to her as well. But I think, uh, I think she knows what's happening. <laughs> well, she's looking to stand her ground more and fire back immediately. Janie will walk forward as she did in the first one. The power kicks, as you see, left Switch and right. Kick, lovely. Oh, Hello, chopping kick. kick and the right hand over the top, Dale. Nice teeth to the belly. And Inez again under pressure here in the second from the power and the accuracy of Janie Iska. It's a short clip over the top from the right hand. And you feel more chopping kicks to that lead leg if you look at that thigh yeah, bell. Will yeah, be the key right here for Janie. Yeah. And it's, uh, as you said before, going downstairs, it's opening, it's opening up for those shots. Those yeah, the right there. hand especially will be really beneficial fitting from those low kicks to that lead leg. And again, just stalking Inez now, Jamie. And a short little right to the body. And Dale, the problem for Inez is it's hard enough defensively, but if you're going to come forward, you're going to double the impact and walk on to the work that Janie does. It's a hard night's work for you against someone like her that pushes the pressure like this. Yeah. Again, it's... Uh, well, I'd say it's going to be angles are getting around it, but Janie's coming from all angles. And those kicks are coming into the midsection, the thigh, the belly. Look how red Inez's belly is as well now. The face is marking up as well. Oh, and the right hand comes over the top once more. She's a tough girl. She winces, but she comes forward. Needs all that experience. She's got 30 fight experience, but I doubt very few of those fights have put her under such pressure as this one has. No, she's, come a, she's come a long way, but she has come to fight. And uh, Jane's giving her a fight. And again, looking to work the body before she goes back upstairs, chopping across those angles. It's a hard night's work for Inez. Whatever she does, she comes under pressure once more. Yeah, she's got quite a good stiff straight punch. It's just she hasn't got the opportunity to land it very often. Yeah, so she's been knocked off balance, so while she's off balance, she's there. That's not bad. Straight across one, uh, one two there. It's her best opportunity to double the impact as Jenny comes in, because she is there to be hit. When she comes in, she's so committed that Inez has realised she can hit her, but it's what she takes back once she's landed with that right hand. Yeah, Janie sticking to a plan, pushing forward again, throwing the left and right. Two big rounds. So third and final round. And he touched gloves. Oh, <laughs> straight in before the bell. Keen. And that's how she should be. As you said, she's definitely come to fight, and I think she's going to look to see if Janie is suffering from fatigue after two such hard and fast-paced rounds. Lighten her feet though, she's moving around well, Jane. 
And there comes the right again. Yeah, the change of low kicks. The venom still there. Oh, there's the big right hand through the side. Looks for the left hook, just wide of the mark. Chopping low kick in, but this time she steps away before that right hand reply from Inez. She's moving out the way of the of Inez's low kicks as well. She'll move in, and then she just gets out quick enough. Yes, not taking any chances. She's got two big rounds in the bag, including an eight count in the first stiff jab this time. And you see her beginning to relax and almost enjoy herself now, Dale. The switch kicks. And again, Inez doesn't know what's coming next. She chambers the oh, leg. Oh, lovely. The back fist lands cleanly. She chambers the leg, thinking she's going to throw. Then the punch comes instead. Masterclass. Oh, oh. Kick. Just slipped past the back of the rear glove. Really turning on the class now. Jane Iska. Oh, lead body. Picking the shots now. Teep to the face as well. Master class from the Assassin's Gym fighter. And she'll take those shots. Little nod to come back and land more heavily again. What I will say for the Portuguese girl, incredible determination and a chin on her, Dale. Yeah. And you can allow Janie to start be breathing heavy now. She's put so much effort into this bout. So much hard, powerful work. The you can hear the intent from the back of the throat. And Inez has done well for me to still be there. Oh. More of an elbow. Yeah. That, she's not happy with that at all. And North Garth Border. Our referee saying that has got to be the glove. Much more, as you said at the forearm and elbow. It's a dangerous technique if you get it wrong. And you hear Lewis say, Jane Bread and Butter, she doesn't need all those spins at the moment. She's doing it just like that. Doesn't need to risk losing a point stupidly no. when she's doing everything right just here. No, she's, she's, she's breaking up with basics, has been doing for three rounds. But it's the venom and the power in, the, in those basics that are doing it. And again, walking her down, traps the leg. Oh, beautiful stuff again here from Janie. Works the, the midsection and up again, jumping knee. Oh, the oh, right man. hand, perfect timing and balance as well. Right on the point of the chin. And it's right at the bell. You've got to say the Portuguese fighter was so game, but what a masterclass from Janie, the one Iska. She's the one in the white corner, Jane!